Yeah, Aegis doesn't realize he's about to give back. He's like, so what you're paying me is like, we gave you oil and ropes. Like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> better be really good oil and rope. Anyway, yeah, so I go back and I... Uh, I'm gonna... Basic, I... Um, Aegis basically jabs one, uses one of his javelins as a pit and stabs it into a good firm bit of ground and then ties the rope off and descends in. I'm gonna subtract right. one of my javelins, one ammo. So, alright, so you're using the rope as an anchor in case the tunnels get windy? Uh, both to find our way back and as an escape so we can climb our way out. Alright. All that assumes there's like a big drop. I assume we drop down into the thing. Could you explain that better? Because the way you described it was like it was a descent, not just a hop down. Uh, no, no, you're right. It is a descent, but it's the tunnel itself is descending. It's not one big drop. Well, I meant to the entrance, like the way you were describing it. I thought it was we had to hop down in there, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, so that's what the rope is for to kind of get gotcha. back out of that hole. Yeah. All right. So. And you're all gonna crawl through this uh, new tunnel now? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, the other... Yeah, it goes ahead. This new one is barely big enough to fit you, Axe. Mm. Uh, if anyone mm. is behind you, you will obscure their view entirely. <laughs> great. Oh, great. Yeah, that's Aegis's um, <laughs> strength is bringing up the rear and now he can't do it. <laughs> There's too much to back up. <laughs> well, he can bring up Azor's rear in the meantime. So well, no. Azor's axe in the back and just Aegis in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> and axe just makes it so we can't turn around or retreat around. <laughs> hmm. too, this place too small. Maybe you're too big, mate. Maybe. Maybe. So, after a few minutes of crawling, Azora, you see a, uh, you, you, you see, uh, a fork in, 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 in the tunnel. My god, oh, I should say, fork. as they start walking, like, as soon as she went in the right. tunnel, Azora has had a sword drawn. Uh, well, you're crawling still. Oh, still crawling? Yeah, still crawling. <laughs> a fork, Neil. Are you saying there's people here eating? A fork. Yes, Eight. it's like, you know, uh, one veers off to the right, another veers off to the left. So there's two four. Sure. <laughs> what so the there's four point of that. <laughs> There's forks. How many forks? One fork, two paths. Yeah. When you think about it, your typical fork has four prongs, so I mean... <laughs> so, really, there's Really, like... there are eight paths before <laughs> us. Uh... There you go. <laughs> I subdivide my essence and go down both paths. Did you know I that in... Do that. Did you know that the most amount of forks in one place in the game Fallout 3 is on level 3 in Raven Rock? Uh, the, where the mess hall, where the enclave eat, there's 117 forks in that room. Oh, yeah. They've fallen through the floor, haven't they? <clears throat> yeah. Anyhow, I, um... Well, I mean, I'm behind Azora, so... <clears throat> there's three of us in two paths, and I'm a character who is best to defend another character. <clears throat> so, Aegis is at the behest of mercy. The behest of mercy? The behest of destiny. Oh, uh, you know what? Gonna discern realities again. All right. Look at look that. At yeah. Look, look at this. 10, 11, 12, thing. as I said. Yeah. And now it's going to circle around to one, then two, then three, then four. I don't you think. M, you could have at least got, let me have that. But no, you wanted to roll discern realities. <laughs> I'm in the front. Alright, so what are your questions? That's what they always you say. You're gonna discern the back of my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna see. Oh no, oh man, th this is bad. You're balding. <laughs> oh. I'm wearing a mop. <laughs> <laughs> what should I be on the lookout for? <laughs> well, here is not what he appears to be. That's not his real hair. <laughs> That's a mop. Be on the lookout for... Uh... 
other creatures. What happened here recently? Uh, happened here recently. Uh, what happened here recently was uh, a few people. Uh, okay, okay. So, so you're looking at these at the fork in the road. You can tell uh, by inspecting it real close that one of them was dug forward. You know, uh, <laughs> coming. You know. C yeah. Going, going, dug towards the way you came, and cool. another one was dug the other way, the way you're going. Yeah. So one was dug backwards, the other was dug forward. I wonder if it goes in a circle. <laughs> What's your third question? Uh. <laughs> what? What? Here is useful or valuable to me. Uh, useful or valuable. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that torch in your hand is would be pretty <laughs> useful. <laughs> what? Or wait, uh, is it a torch? I thought it was a lantern. I said it was a lantern, but. It could be a torch. Axe doesn't quite see the difference. It's the just... fire and the lantern. Fire? The fire will be useful to you. Yes. I mean, does anything happen if she holds it up in either fork? Like, is there any particular uh, difference? No, you could just tell which one was dug going towards the yeah. triage and which one was dug going away from it. Uh, yeah, Azora's gonna head down the one that was going away from it. Gotcha. Uh, Aegis oh, follows. Okay. <laughs> well, Axe follows. Alright, we, so... oh, we dare yet. Azora, roll... Hmm. Yeah, roll wisdom. Nice. This is where it loops back around. Ooh. Hmm. Loop back around to partial. So, the dead uh, right in front of you, uh, you see, uh, right in front of you, uh, you see some rats pop up from the dirt, from, from the sand around you. Oh, hello, I'm O'Malley. Rats carry uh, plague, kill them. They're plague. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're, these are slightly larger than average rats with, uh, glowing yellow eyes. Okay, about how many would you say there are? Uh, I'd say about five. Alright, so, and they pop up in, like, a cluster? Yeah, yeah, they all pop. As yeah, soon they, as they, they start moving towards me, Azor is essentially just gonna try and get over them and just, like, body slam crush them with her shield. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, roll Hackens, those strength. Wow. Let's see. Roll your damage. Mm -hmm. This is where it all starts going wrong. Uh, you crush one of them. The others, uh, however, uh, maneuver around you and crawl up, uh, crawl around to uh, the walls of the tunnel uh, to be above you. Uh, although you notice that uh, three of them uh coil from w w when they draw near the fire of your lantern. Uh, but the other one uh, ha who had right. crawled to the other the other side uh, lunges, lunges for your neck. Rats. Can I go Rats. to stab it? Spear. Uh, you can. Spear yeah, in midair. Skewer that thing in a minute. Oops. Nope. nope. Wait, I was gonna that say, am stuff. I your fulcrum now? No, I have to. I have. To, it says when you spend. I was gonna do that afterwards. When you spend a uh. moment getting into position near an ally, they become your fulcrum. I hadn't said anything yet, so. Right. Mm. Yeah, right. Mm, let's see. Uh, so, its tail uh basically uh wraps around your uh your spear as you jab it. Uh, in midair, and fuck? it starts crawling up the spear at you now. Okay, that's not good. And uh, goes to uh, 
and goes to uh, and, and uh, bites at your cheek, at your face. Actually, no, not at your cheek. At your wrist. It bites at your wrist once it gets there. Oh. So you take uh five damage. Oof. And roll Constitution. Double oof. Uh. It stings like the bitches. Like the britches. Mm. Uh. But, uh. Wait a minute, wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. I just realized. So this made an attack at. Can I. I know it's a little late now. Can I actually try and roll? I have a move for this. I was fighting the rats, and one of the rats tried to attack Aegis. Can I tr roll Wallace Steel on that? It's kind of a weird situation where, like, no, it's attacked. already okay. it's already made yeah. the thing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it so yeah, it bites at your wrist and leaves and leaves a very stinging wound. Oi. So, looking back up, if Azora shines lights on the three rats, what, like, exactly do they do? Uh, they recoil away from it and seem to hiss. Um, Azora's essentially gonna try and, like, use it, like, point the light at them to try and corral them and predicting their movement, try and, sl like, horizontal crush them with her shield again against the wall. Like Alright, roll strength and take a plus one to it. Nice. Yeah, and a nine, wow. alright. Mm. Things, things uh, took a downturn. Roll your roll. damage. Yeah. I'm just gonna say I'm in an odd position. Uh, I don't I'm gonna say you. Free armor. I'm gonna say you crushed two of them. Nice. Uh, to so... death. So there's one left, and it's in front of you. And there's uh, also the one on oh. Aegis's wrist. Okay. So, X actually is gonna do any something. He's gonna just grab the one on Aegis's wrist and like. He's gonna reach forward, lurch forward yeah. over Aegis, basically yeah, yeah, flatten him to the ground. Dying. I am going to be crushed. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna grab Aegis's hand on his spear, like you know, in a romantic. Okay, yeah. In doing this, you are basically flattening Aegis to the ground. You won't be hurting him. I'll say. Go for I won't it. make you. It'll I won't funny. make you do mechanical. It's yeah. better than Azor was about to kick Aegis in the face yeah. when the rat was on his face. <laughs> All right, so go for it. Uh, roll, yeah. roll strength. Axe, roll strength. Boy, what you doing? <laughs> so yeah, know. you Making just rats. lean over, basically pushing your whole body weight down on Aegis into the into the sand below as you grab this rat. It's okay. It's sand. And uh. I'm assuming you're just going to try and crush it in your hand? Yes. Alright, roll damage. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? The f <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I just oh, you didn't it. put a D. You didn't put a D. Oh. In, in your thing. Oh, that explains. <laughs> but Neo, just had a 10 there. <laughs> he did 110 damage. <laughs> well, rat. you crush the rat in your hand. He vaporized that rat in his hand. Uh, its guts, however, splatter everywhere. Uh, I'm shielded, con. however, I'm fine. It doesn't yeah. affect me. Roll con axe. <laughs> oh. Con axe or con air? I'm gonna say the rat's uh, guts. Uh, no, uh, they, 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 they get, uh, they, they get in your eyes, and it, Wait, it hurts this ma quite this a bit. Is this anything magic? No. Do I take that? Oh, wait, no. It's no. not. Okay. Uh, okay. but, no, it just gets in your eyes, and it hurts, but, no, you don't mark anything. Oh, it's no damage? Because no. when you take damage... <laughs> it's not damage. It, it, no. it just hurts. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, stupid rat! Actually, he kind of just he leans forward a bit more just to brace himself. <laughs> just to wipe the guts off. Yeah. And then he Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he just leans back. Sorry. So, Azora, there's one rat left right in front of you. That's still... That's backing up. Arching... It's arching its back and backing up. Uh, hissing at you to try and 
you know, you know, it's assuming the position where it's trying to like scare off a bigger predator. And it's in front of me, you say? Yeah. Azora sort of like keeping the lantern there just really quick, um, you know, let, leaving the lantern on the ground, just goes back to grab her sword and not even drawing it fully, but is essentially going to like jackhammer the rat with the hilt of the sword like just drawing it like incredibly fast to just like try and nail it in the skull. All right, roll I strong. want to say I'm moving into position to fulcrum. Gotcha. Ooh, no. Two no, cramps. sir. Yeah. It uh, jumps on the hilt of your sword and then makes a leap off of that to jump at your face. Ooh, fulcrum. Fulcrum. Okay, so, um, just let me see. Flanking move. When your fulcrum attack, well, it's when your fulcrum attacks and deals damage, you can make an opportunity oh, strike. True. Or when your fulcrum takes damage, you can immediately make an opportunity strike. Oh, true. Strike. We're not technically at either yet. Yeah. What's your bonus though, as fulcrum? It's plus um, one to defy it's danger, or plus one to defy danger. Which is hmm. when you alert your fulcrum of sudden danger. So, um, Aegis yells, "Look out! He's jumping." <laughs> so as soon as it launches at me, Azora's essentially going to try and headbutt spike it to the ground with her the front of her helmet. <laughs> but uh, well, well, this is a consequence of a thing you rolled on hmm. hack and slash, though. Yeah, this isn't a divide danger thing. Yeah. So it lands on your face and bites at your nose. Dealing three damage. I do not take any damage. You'd... Oh, it, bite, it bites my armor. But I do make an opportunity strike. Nice. All and, right. And here's go the ahead. Thing. I don't know what an, I think an opportunity strike is still rolled. It doesn't say either way, so I assume it is. I thought it said d6, 1d6. When you perform an opportunity strike, you deal. Oh, <coughs> yeah. I, do I just deal d6 damage? Yeah, I think it's just like oh, you yeah. get that bonus. Like, it's not a hack and slash. This is just. Oh, yeah, a, like... it's just damage. It's just I am yeah. damage machine. <coughs> so, yeah, I jab the thing. That's why That's why I think your class has such a low yeah. damage dice for Marshall. Because class, I just keep just doing it. Constantly damage and just. Alright, yeah, down. yeah. You, ja you stab that rat. Yeah, stab it just rat. like clings onto Zora's helmet and she's side so you can just get a clean. Yep. Yeah. A spear, just like, a spear just like shoots inches from your face and just ra rips this fucking rat off of it. Azora does not like flinch at this. But you know, just sort of grunts and vague things. Um, she uh, then sort of turns a bit more. You get bit. Eh, that's nothing. Azora looks more. How's it feel? Stings like fuck. Azora, um, you know, then, like, sort of shifts a bit to try and toss her cape off of the bag on her back, and then just says, in there, vial of antitoxin. If you start feeling bad, take it. Cheers. Yeah. Do does he take it out of the bag and, like, grab uh, it? Uh, to... yeah, he pockets it for the moment. I'll just mm -hmm. add antitoxin. Yeah. Just one use of antitoxin. Yep. Does that have weight or anything? Uh, no, no weight. Okay. I'll take that. So yeah, like one use of one use, zero weight. Alright. Alright. Um, while Neo is fixing his headphones, I really have to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to do that. Alright, I'm gonna check Actually, on the dog. Can, uh, yeah, God I'll damn it. You... Now it's I'll only in you... one ear. Hold on. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go check there. on the dog. There we dog. go. Okay, it's fixed. Alright, go ahead. I went to the bathroom. Um, All right, I'll go to the bathroom too. I'm gonna check on a dog. I'll go nice. on the bathroom too. Ah, baby, you've got a storm coming. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> so, what do you think of the war setup? Yeah, that's good. I'm liking this session the session so far. Spark, yeah. I think this is one of our best, like... I think so far, I wasn't here for Party 2, obviously, but I think this is so far the best introduction to the characters we've gotten. <laughs> I'm really happy with how Azor's introduction went. I think just sort of silent. So, yeah, I was saying with Neo, I'm really liking the session so far.
Yeah. I've got to find Aegis a bit more. I feel like I've made several steps in how he wouldn't act. He's meant to be friendlier than this, but... Eh, well, it's, I'll adjust. No, I think it's he's, like, believable as friendly. He's just not with the most conversational yeah. people. Oh, sorry, whoops, I forgot something. Hang on. But yeah, how do you feel about uh, the backstory for the war, though? No, it's good. It's like, that's not the layout I was expecting. It's interesting. <laughs> so let's see. I'm taking Ironhide. I am taking... Yeah, it was actually, I was debating with myself for a while which city was going to leave for the League. It's a good mixture. It's a good mixture yeah. of kind of landscape and, I don't know, just kind of makeup. Tensus and Taran, it's an interesting <laughs> combo to, oh, they're yeah. in the Alliance. Originally, it was going to be Marion that left the Confederacy. Then I considered Yuma, uh, but then I just settled on Tensus. Well, Yuma would have been r tricky, though, for Murray. Yeah. Almost feel like Osprin should have been neutral, too. Could have been like the banking plan. Yeah. In Star Wars. Could have been like Switzerland. I'm still blown away by Detroit's ending. I saw how Detroit ended today. Oh god, what do they do to it? So, if you go down the bad route, it's so hilariously fucking inept. You, you the, right. the bad ending is like a 20 minute long interactive sequence where the robots get put into concentration camps and sent into kill chambers. Oh, become human. Yeah, Detroit become human. Oh, yeah. It's so I was making a joke that you saw how Detroit ended. I'm like, oh my god, what happened to Detroit? Oh, it got bombed. <laughs> what, did they, what did they do to it? Yeah, I mean, uh, Detroit is gone. <laughs> the automotive industry finally, finally do them over. Uh, I think the isn't. I think the weirdest Detroit ending is. Uh, why are people suddenly talking about Detroit again? Is there, like, a re-release or something? I mean, it's coming or on like PC, but I, I, I don't know if people are uh, talking about it again. I just, I just finished a Let's Play I was uh, listening to today. The fucking most ridiculous Detroit ending to me is the one where, uh, I forget, I think it's Connor who, be, who, who robot, winds up in control the, of robot, everything. The, fucking, the, the uh, one where it's revealed that it was all a ploy by the, uh robot industry to robot oh, yeah, company. Yeah, that, yeah. that came up in this ending. <laughs> and then he's and he's like, <laughs> like, like he's like he, it's revealed that he was a plant so the entire time. That's the thing that gives me so that, that came up in this ending though. What I loved about the LPI I watched, it was three guys who just I, on some level I dislike, on some level I love that they hated the game from moment one. They had no respect for it. They played it on easy where characters can't die, and they then worked really hard to get all of the characters killed and succeeded. <laughs> it was like the inverse of play on normal, try and keep everyone alive, play on easy, and try and get everyone killed. <laughs> I still love the Heavy Rain speedrun so much. Like, just from the start, where you like, play with your kids in your fucking underwear to, like, just getting the worst at, like, just getting everyone killed, murdered by sheer incompetence, and then Shelby guy, the killer, just, like, tries to assassinate the guy, fails, and runs away, and that's the end. That's such a good speedrun. Okay, so let's get back to this emerald here. Mm -hmm. The Swede here? I heard no. the Swede. I'm not here. Swede is not a quiet man. You can hear him. No, he's a mile away. 
The oh, I'm not actually now. That's wearing my headphones right now, so that might explain why I didn't hear him. Uh-huh. All right, so we're ready? No. Mm -hmm. Are you recording again? All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, you've killed, you've defeated the rats, the five rats. Rat, rat. The, the first real enemy, five rats. I think it's fitting, it's symbolic, that the main enemy of the last part was one large rat. And the, main <laughs> the first enemy. This was a symbolic revenge that these characters can't really appreciate. <laughs> I feel that was O'Malley's family, and we just killed them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they went underground after the frets. And shrunk to several feet. And we all got one. That I was sweet. That was you symbolically crushing the last bits of O'Malley out of your system. Yeah. <laughs> With your own hands. Dealing 110 damage. To the <laughs> Dealing 110 damage to the past. Jesus. So, Azora, I'm assuming you three all advance? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yes. uh, I'm eventually... never rolling an attack roll again. It's all, all opportunity right. strikes. No, I'm worse. So, uh, eventually, Azora, you can. Come... You can do that big, desperate, like, insta kill spear throw. At level, like, seven. Yeah. All right. So, eventually, Azora, you come to what appears to be a dead end, but really, it's, uh, there's wood in, in your way now. Wood? Just like a wooden door? Uh, it, it just looks to be part of a wooden wall that maybe you can't see all of. It's actually just a wooden gun. Huh? There's a ship under here. Yeah, Azora is basically just gonna like looks at it, sort of feels the wood, and just sort of. Huh. Uh, then it's when, you when you oh. feel it, uh, you, it does. It has a little give. Yeah, Azora is basically just gonna start trying to like. Punch through it, basically. Uh, well, like, when you... Or just first push through it. Right, so when you push, uh, hard, pushing hard enough, uh, it does actually start to open up, uh, like a flap, you know, going up. Hmm. And you can see, you can start to emerge into a room. A dark, a dark room. Yeah, shine the lantern around. What do we see? Uh... You are in a small wooden, uh, just sort of wooden shack, and you can hear, uh, footsteps above you. There's a ladder going up. Um, anything in this room? Uh, there doesn't seem to be, no. Alright, yeah. Um, looking down at the ground, making sure there's not, like, a tripwire or something. Um, as, or spikes, or God knows what else is, or is going to climb out of the tunnel. All right. Yep. Nothing. Yeah. Aegis follows when she yeah. sees her get in, get in close. Uh, I'm going to need axe to roll Dex when he gets out. Can I aid? Oh, okay. Can I aid when I see him struggling? To get out make it quietly. No. Well, you could have uh, waited for me to roll first, but okay. I could have, but axe doesn't wait. <laughs> well, actually, I was about to say, Azora sort of holds up her hand and then, like, a finger to mouth and, you know, eyes and points up. <laughs> like, Aegis mm. just turns around, he sees you struggling to get through, and he's like, you need a hat, and then you just fucking bumble fuck through. <laughs> okay, so you make a little bit of noise, and, uh, Azora, you hear, uh, the footsteps and, uh, muttered chatter all stop. Yeah, Azora raises her hand to stop them. The lantern is out, by the way. I don't right. remember if I said that or not, but Azora okay. does, yeah. Uh, Aegis oh, basically sorry. positions himself, like, behind and to Azora's side, and he has the spear kind of pointed in the direction of the ladder, just in case anyone descends. Yeah. So yeah, you hear some murmuring, and then you uh, see at the top of the ladder the trap door, a trap door begin to open up. And uh, you see a see faint, you down. see a faint yellow glow appear, in, uh, appear from uh, the darkness. 
leading upwards. Aegis just kind uh, of ma- Aegis just kind of mouths gets like stick to the walls, stick to the walls. Well, whispers it rather. Yeah. Uh, like, you rolled an eleven the- on plague feeders. All right, yeah, ten yes. on plague feeders. So you know something useful for this. You know that plague feeders can see in the dark. Oh, okay. Night vision. Yeah. So like Aegis just kind of whispers, they can see in, they can see in darkness. So just if they if they properly look down, we're done anyway. So actually, yeah, he just says, he actually just says with that, just be ready to attack. We're not, we ain't hiding this one out. If they mm. poke their heads down here, they're gonna see us. So yeah, yeah. it as soon as it it pokes its head in, locks eyes with you. And uh, and uh, let's loose a. Uh, oh wait, can I javelin it? I was gonna <laughs> say yeah something. before it can say anything. I uh, I actually yeah. have a thing because uh, you say it pokes its head in. Does it have the signs like the uh, the yellow face, the yellow? Yes, it does. Yeah, I javelin that son of a bitch. Oh, gotcha got... on sight. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Pokes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Just pokes its head down. Javelin to the head. All right, we're gonna do like now. two damage, but you know. <laughs> Look at the read on that! Holy shit! Unbelievable. So, so yeah. Uh, In fairness, two damage is a lot more, you know, likely for your damage dice than our damage dice. Yeah. Uh, it, it, so yeah, your javelin sort of hits it. Uh, sort of catches it in the shoulder. We'll say. Uh, as and it, How high uh, is the ceiling? Uh, about seven feet up. Oh, nice. Uh, and uh, it lets out a screech and falls down into the into the room with you. And you hear, uh, you hear two other voices, uh, sc- uh, uh, screaming in an unknown language at okay, each other. So, I I feel I'm putting myself in the worst position this way, but. What Aegis does is, um, he's going to run into position where he basically jabs his spear into the position of the trap door so they can't shut it. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, I don't go from there, because, like, Aegis isn't going to go up. He's just basically making sure they can't block us down here for now. Azora does go to try and finish off the guy who's down here. Um, just All immediately right. as soon as she's down. She just, like, sword already out charges in and just like tries to stab down at his neck all right roll strength oh nice look at this two damage (laughs) (laughs) he's getting chipped away at he'll be dead any time that oh that's um three damage with two piercing oh oh all right uh yeah now we're actually using my sword and not just shield bashing um, shit. Yeah, Azora does actually have a plus one damage and plus two piercing. One thing I do actually love, I love that I picked Atlatol just because I love the fact that Aegis can fucking snipe with javelins. Mm, yeah. So yeah, you jab your sword, uh, I, I guess into its torso. Uh, yeah. As upper it was, torso, I, yeah. I, upper torso as it was trying to get up, and it shrieks again, uh, before, uh, po- po- before uh, holding its hand out towards you, and it starts to chant something in an unknown language. What do you do? Um, gonna just try and, like, kick his arm and stomp on his mouth as he's trying to point his hand at me and chant at me. Not like, this isn't like a damage hack and slash, this is just trying to, like, you know... Forcibly right. making him stop doing that Roll with strength. the strength of my boot. Gotcha. Power through. Full strength. Oh yeah, wait. I am. I am. Am I still her fulcrum? No, I've got the spear. Oh, in true. The thing, so. Well, wait. Well, mm. I don't know. You're still like, Jav. You helped bring this guy down into my stabbing range. Anyhow, yeah, that's your argument. Do you think I should do some thing damage, opportunity strike? Uh. Nah, okay. I think you. you, you oh, you that went, was what you're going for. You I went. You went to go uh, spear the. Uh, yeah. Thing yeah. Open, I'm, out, so, I'm yeah. no longer fulcruming right now. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't not even asking about opportunity strike. I meant for plus one to defy danger. 
But, so let's see. I'm not really fulcruming you right now. But the five so, dangers. By the so, way. You can take, uh, you, 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 you can, uh, take damage, uh, from this thing's, uh, from what it's trying to do, or it'll go and hit one of your companions. Take damage. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, it, it, it does spit out the last bit of its incantations. And, uh, hmm, roll con. A lot of nines. All right. Uh, so you let's just say you uh throw up a bit in your mouth as a force hits you. Ooh. Like a force of uh, magic energy hits you. All right. Uh, and you take two damage, ignoring armor. As uh, basically your sort of insides churn and you get like extreme nausea, as uh, it, you, and you're just forced to upchuck. Yeah, Azora doesn't really stop kicking as she like vomits. All right, so you're just gonna go in harder. For uh, more yeah, attack? or just go go in for another sword attack. Actually, gotcha. Of, like, continuing kick, just like holding her sword on its face for like leverage basically pinning it down just like really ruthlessly go and try and kill this thing while she mm -hmm. has it pinned down jesus christ violence and vomiting because that's three different sevens in a row and then with a plus two all right roll your damage i wonder what axe that's is doing six damage two piercing oh yeah no i'm all right just uh, watching Azora step on. I'm gonna his say, head. yeah. So with this one, you cleave its head off, <laughs> as a uh, sort of yellow blood spurts out from its neck hole. Yeah, Azora just kicks its head away and starts climbing the ladder. Right. Yeah. Uh, you hear the other two that were up there uh, start. Uh, they, they've they've started uh, doing their own incantation chants uh, when they heard their guy fall. Mm. Yeah, uh, Azora's just gonna keep climbing. Yeah, yeah Aegis Max is, going is to actually follow. climbing too. Up, up the ladder, all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't try and close that trapdoor. You know what? As we get like to the top of the trapdoor before just climb, climbing out, the noticing Axe is in fact below her, and this isn't too high up. And Axe is a big, strong, tall guy. Azora just looks at Axe. Acts and then like points to her and points upward and just says, "Push fast." Just gonna g give me a boost, launch me up there. You want me, don't you? Okay. So I how are we doing just, this? Yes, yes, rolling Sorry. strength. Just basically, like as she gets up there, yeah, just basically steps into his hands and has him like thrust her upwards particularly right. fast. Catch roll him off guard. Alright, roll strong. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're, th you're thrust up, and uh, in the air, you see this room uh, has quite a few dead bodies in it, uh, and uh, as well, quite a few dead bodies and bugs all over the place, and the uh, two plague feeders are on mm -hmm. opposite sides of the room. Uh, uh, opposite corners of the room, uh, with their arms out and uh, chanting, uh, uh, spell chanting out a spell. You know what? Um, Aegis sees that he grabs one of he grabs one of his javelins and says, "Hey, big man, you got another one in you?" Sure. As far as goes, from trying to think, I guess she goes for the one on the right. It would make more sense to go for. I'm about to do awesome. a really anime thing, so yeah. yeah. Nice. So well, so when you want to talk again. anime, as Azor up there, she's gonna basically like try and kick off the wall and like charge tackle the one on the right, you know, sword right. and shield first. Well, axe roll strength. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna um, be interesting. The fact that Azora has at least like 50, 60 pounds on Aegis. 
Can I? You're launched can, up. Uh, you you're, you're launched up not as high. We'll say. That's fine. I don't need to do anything. Yeah. I. I was gonna suggest that unlike Azora, I don't get to stay in the room. I just don't have to go down. Same, yeah. You know, yeah, sure, because you don't get launched off by this high. You're basically just like just above the trapdoor before your momentum stops. Because while I'm there, I'm gonna basically throw a javelin at the first one I see. All right. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Presumably the one that doesn't have a Zora between you and he. Yeah. Presumably. Nine. Okay. Nine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I know... <sighs> Sounds odd. Can I pick you put yourself in a spot? Yes. Actually, wait. Sorry. No, I can't remember. Was that one of the volley options? You put yourself in a yeah. spot? It was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I go for that. Uh, So you throw it. Uh, Deal your damage. That damage that is a nice. nice full six. Nice, yeah. You nail it straight in the straight in the eye as oh, wow. it That's reels impressive. back. As it reels back and lets out a scream, uh, and you're real proud of yourself until you fall back down, smash your head on the opening of the trap door, and fall all the way back down to the bottom of the other room. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> um, As the one who just got hit with a javelin screams, Azora just uh, screams out, Don't be a pussy, there are worse things to get stabbed <laughs> in the eyewood. Uh and then you get and you take four damage. I really like that. that's good. Is that ignoring <laughs> yeah. armor? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. The embarrassment. <laughs> okay. I because I don't know if I have three or two armor right now, because I have plus one armor <laughs> when I'm when I'm using a shield. <laughs> I kind of am using. I, I don't think that should be ignores armor. He, you know. No, yeah, it's not. Armor. It's not ignores armor. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, okay, hang on. So I am going to. I was on twelve. Uh, I'll take two because yeah, I don't think I was really. I don't think a shield really matters cares yeah. about falling. <laughs> but um, I I just that's really good. I like. Yeah. Like Aegis just kind of lands and he's in pain and he just has <laughs> set sent up crashing back down. Alright, so Azora, your your anime move. You're kicking off the wall. Yeah, and charge like tackling there. the guy. All right. so basically just try and like pin him sort of like push him back with the um shield, get him off, you know, balance, and then just follow up with the sword to all right. the all strong. Is it raining? I've gotten every what the look at my past rolls. Right. Like, actually, look, I got 2 plus 5, um, wait, oh yeah, so I got 2 plus 5 on a plus 2, a 5 plus 3 on a plus 1, a 3 plus 4 on a plus 2, and then a 1 plus 6 on a plus 2, for 4 fucking 9s in a row. <laughs> I guess we're just calling Azora 9s from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as canon as they come. <laughs> yeah, six. Six. <laughs> I forget, did that originally come from sixes or good? Yeah, it, it came from sixes in Clone okay, Wars. Yeah. Wait, wait, did you did you think for a moment that we came up with that for Gogeta? <laughs> no, no, I thought someone else might have come up with oh. that for Gogeta. Oh, no, no. Oh, was that us? That was us. Yeah, okay. we were playing Xenoverse, and I just made the joke, Gogeta, but you're not canon. <laughs> <laughs> Which sadly isn't true anymore. True, yeah. yeah. He is true. He made you check your canon <laughs> as they come my... now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Broly, you're not canon. Oh, I no. can't believe Broly and Gogeta became canon. Same. Yeah, it's fucked. All mm. right, so a six. Uh, yeah, That's a seven. Excuse oh, a seven. Piercing. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and yeah, you uh dig right. So you dig your sword into his torso, then. Yeah. I'll yeah. Uh, yeah. Yellow blood sp spurters out as he uh finishes finishes talking in his alien language there, uh, and uh he sends out. Uh, a bit of yellow energy towards the middle of the room, 
uh, th that uh, the other one has now also sent out a bit of yellow energy towards that bit, and they meet in the middle for to explode into a bout of yellow gas that's now very quickly filling the room. Azora has a doctor's mask on. That should help a bit. <laughs> In other you... case, yeah, Azora is standing her ground. Um, she's essentially gonna, like, having this guy against the wall, like, keeping her sword where it is, basically, like, going for, like, a headbutt skull bash and just, like, twist the source in, sword in and push All it right. down, trying to dive strong. deeper into him. Hells yeah. Yeah, alright, roll damage. Hells yeah. yeah. It's oh, dead. God. Just fucking obliterate yeah. it. Uh, roll con. Do I get a plus one since I got the mask? By Jim no. Carrey. Wow. I really could have used that plus one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Would you rather market ability or take damage? Take damage. All right. Just say to yourself, somebody take stop me. five damage ignoring armor. Mm -hmm. As this last uh, plague feeder is... Uh, currently trying to uh, dig through uh, an opening in the wall to uh, get out of there. So how many yeah, plague is feeders not letting there? him get away. Alright. So how many of the how many plague feeders was there in the room? Uh, this is the last one. Okay. Oh, no, because I wanna actually do something because Ooh, Axe burst up through the reach through the ground, break through, grab him no. and pull him down below. Like Bane. Okay. Yes. I'm but I'm I'm just climbing up the ladder. Oh. I just climbed up the like big guy Bane. I like to think no. as well, like Axe is just looking down at Aegis, who's just cradling the back <laughs> of his head in pain. He's just like, yeah, just just go on, I'll I'll be up in a moment. Yeah. No, <laughs> Axe sees this guy trying to you know dig himself out, and he's gonna grab his axe. Axe. Uh, grabs his axe. So you emerge into the room then? Yeah. I roll con. Why do I have to roll con? Because there's it's yellow gas. gas. It's filled with poison gas. You Why just walked have... into the uh, mustard gas room. Magic schmagic, you take plus one to this. That's still a nine. <laughs> yeah. I could have used so, that plus one. Would you rather take damage or take a debility, Hax? Uh, I'll take a damage. Alright, a damage. Five damage ignoring armor. What the fuck? I said eight damage, not eight. You know what Aegis should have you know what Aegis should have said as he landed and spoke to it? He said, Oof, you do not want to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Axe is Axe is gonna grab his axe and he he sees the fucking last eater thing wanting to crawl yeah. out. He's gonna take his axe and volley at that him. Ooh. Too bad you don't have a strong tosser. Yeah. Alright, but uh yeah. Roll uh roll dex. Yeah. Uh alright, uh so oh, you're yeah, volleying. You you're volleying. Uh do you choose to uh <laughs> Well you can't exactly expend ammo. No. Yeah, that's the uh, rule of those. Do you take Throwing you, weapons you can't expand. Do you, you know. take what you can get for minus d6 damage, or do you uh, put yourself in a place of danger? The latter. I think he already put himself in a place yeah. of exposing himself to the mustard gas. Alright, so, uh, alright, deal your damage. I'm 110. Ooh, nice. nice. Alright, yeah. It, your axe launches itself in that thing's back. Uh, <clears throat> uh, basically completely opening up. Its yellow blood spills out from behind it as it falls backwards to the floor, convulsing and eventually dying. As uh, the poison gas suddenly just is... grows immediately thicker. And, uh... You, both you and Azora have to roll con again. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> I gotta say, part of why Azora might not do so good is instead of him as he's convulsing, Azora does for good measure go up and be <laughs> you know, to be safe. Right. 
Well, when you go up to the head of the thing, uh, take eight damage, ignoring armor. <laughs> Alright, yeah. And, uh, Mark sick. Aegis wow. is not going up there for multiple reasons. He just sees a thick cloud <laughs> of yellow crap up there, and he's like, can't fork from that. Alright, once it's beheaded, Azora does seem to charge back down if Axe isn't already down the ladder. No, Axe, 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 Axe is going to pick up his axe. You know, oh, he just... No, he... you know what? No, Azora brings it back with her. Come oh, on, she's nice. not that much of a muscle. <laughs> Uh, Axel <laughs> says, oh, thanks, and lets her go first. Well, no, she just pushes him down the hole first. Oh, she dude, just, like, I... pushes him with the axe. The he lands on Angus. Hang on, I'm rolling. Angus, is... are you still, like, lying down on the floor? I'm sat in the sat near the ladder just cradling the back of my head like, oh, oh, God. <laughs> No. Like, that all happened in several seconds, so... Yeah. And you just hear the elbow drops, the both of them. <laughs> you just hear the <laughs> bub. Okay, his axe lands directly next to you. You got a bit of a... Your headache is exacerbated. Don't. From, because you hit the back of your head on the way down, remember? Yeah, I remember. I yeah. have forgotten the closest oh, actually, no, I got amnesia after down. that hit, so I've actually forgotten everything. That's my arc now. <laughs> and he gets the amnesiac. <laughs> yeah, Azora drops down the hole, like, basically, you know, lands on Axe, but, like, as she, like, hops down and she pulls the trapdoor shut above her. Uh, you've got, you've got a heck of a cough now, by the way. And Good also... We're going back to a triage. <laughs> we're gonna... Uh, <laughs> you've got, uh... Heck of a cough, you're also feeling pretty nauseous. Yeah, Azora looks even more- like, she already looked kind of pale. This looks even, like, worse, you know, dark circle around her eye. Um, but yeah, just then just basically, you know, indicates the tunnel. Here, you yeah, know, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, thanks. All thanks right. for bringing Axis Axe. She pulls up the, uh, wooden plank to let them climb in. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, act yeah. Who's taking the front, then? Because, you know, I guess it'll be Aegis, just because it's easier for oh, us to climb. Oh, I was going to... No, it probably should be Azora thinking about it. It's the most dynamic, you know, lineup for them. Uh, you won't run into any trouble on the way back, I'll just say. Yeah. There's some rats, but oh, they know better. <laughs> they know better. But we do see some rats just walking by yeah. singing. <laughs> oh, I give you back your antitoxin. Yeah. Oh no, Azora, like, you know, watch the infection. Um, or then, like, looks at Axe. He breathes in that stuff too, he might need it, and then just goes back to, you know, marching. Yeah, yeah, Aegis takes the antitoxin and just, like, tosses it over to Axe. Might need that more than I do. <laughs> Axe looks at it. He sweats, he sweats profusely. It has a child safe flaw. <laughs> 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 no, but push down and twist. <laughs> it's not a childproof lock; it's a stupid childproof lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ax. Uh, I guess he might as well drink it. <laughs> you, you successfully rolled con against it. Oh, true. Azora hasn't used a single weapon. custom move or anything. She's just hacking slash. Oh, true. He, he, he's like, oh, yeah, thanks. He's just gonna drink it and there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> this is my treat for a job well done. <laughs> yeah, Zora doesn't know there's nothing wrong with you. Like, on a metal level, yeah. both of us might actually be infected with this sick. Meanwhile... Axe is the only one who's fine and drinks it. <laughs> he splashes it into his eyes because that's where the guts got him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, splash some of it in his eyes, you know, just to make sure. And then make sure to do his armpits. Gotta smell fresh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, your uh, rope is right where you left it. Easy to climb up. Yeah. 
oh, me was thinking just using my grappling hook. Vegas <laughs> <laughs> just looks... Rope hook. Rope Vegas just looks at him and says, do what you like, mate. It's like, didn't cost me anything. Uh, nah. Me save it for, for later use. <laughs> <laughs> me not want to commit to having grappling hook and adventuring gear yet. <laughs> yeah. Me might need it to be other things. <laughs> Schrodinger's <Yeah>. gear. <laughs> I like the idea that he bought some gear and hasn't actually looked in it yet. It's a loot box. You get a loot box <laughs> at the oh. general store. <laughs> Oh, it's that's how they get. That's how the merchants are getting you. That's Honestly, okay, I'm stealing that idea though. If I run that game, but that's the discount thing you can get. It sounds, <laughs> like something, it sounds like O'Malley's new idea to make you know, money. Loot crate shut down recently. They're out of money. They're done. <laughs> oh yeah. Tragic. What are YouTubers going to do now? What's Ashen's gonna do now? Everything else. Those were his worst videos. <laughs> I'm glad he can't do them anymore. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Hey, Neil, you get so... back to the triage. Yeah. Hey, Dave. Uh, the doctor's looking... Uh, the head doctor looks like... You killed all of them? There were multiple? Yes. yes. Yeah. There uh, was... Azora shrugs and says, There is another tunnel we didn't go down. Could have led to the same place, but still need to check. I'll check again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, comes, All right, we're what comes quite, up to the floor? We're not quite done. Uh, well, hold on. <clears throat> he looks around. It's like, So you don't know if you've killed all of them? Can't we're be certain. certain. We, can't be, we can't be sure yet. Well, well keep, watch, keep watch tonight. Not hard to spot. Yeah. Of course. Well, feel free to use the beds, I guess. You've earned that much. He looks Fine. you over and just says, covered in that yellow blood. Yeah, you definitely encountered plague feeders. And he looks over uh, Azora and says, you seem sick. Azora shrugs. Did did they cast anything on you? Send me out the gas. The gas. Uh, he uh says. Yeah, Azora also, you know, like does like pull off the doctor's mask. Or this didn't do too much. Yeah, wouldn't against that. Uh, he uh looks at you and just says. Play, the plague plague feeder gas magic is powerful stuff. Uh, he uh, looks around, and just says, "Listen, I you, you you've you went out and you killed them. Even if it wasn't all of them, that's that's a risk I couldn't imagine taking." Here, just he uh, walks over to his supplies uh, and just says, "I was think." And just says, I was saving this for someone who would come in with the dire straits, but you look more, right now you're more dire than anyone else actually here. Just drink this, and he hands you a health potion. Azora actually holds up her hand and just, if you're saving it, save it. Are you sure? You, that, oh, unchecked, mate, mate, mate. that could... I'll take, I'll take it. She won't use, I'll make sure she uses it if she has to. Uh... All right, he says, and gives it to Aegis. Aegis just Azor looks... then, like, points at Aegis with a thumb. He got bit by one of their rats, too. Check his Wait. hand out. Yeah, oh, he yeah, takes I a look off, at I pull off the, my glove on the hand that got bitten, uh, showing my wrist. So, yeah, uh, he looks at your, your wrist wound. Uh, it, it is... There, there, there is some sort of yellow pustule-like substance, like, emanating from it. And he says, ooh... Yeah, that's not, that's not pretty. You don't seem to, yeah, looks like it wasn't deep enough to spread its infection, but we should still probably clean this. Oh. Azor, oh. meanwhile, does just, you said there were beds. 
Uh, yeah. We cleaned the dead bodies out of them. Those were just nods and, you know, like, just point me to them. Yeah, he points you to uh, the tent that that doctor had mm-hmm. rat stormed yeah. out of. Those were oh. Those yeah. Oh, medicine man. Me got mm. some... Me got some gut in face. Yeah, he, uh, takes a look at you, looks over, uh, you know, spreads your eyes open, looks at you, looks at you, and just says, you're fine. Oh, must be po- because of potion I got early. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 nothing went in, nothing went in anywhere. Oh, I see. It is entirely serviceable. I imagine it stung, but... No, yeah, this isn't yes. potent enough to do anything. 